to understand and share someone else's feelings. That's what the word empathy means, but how do you teach it? Well, I am here today at Columbus Academy with Sonam Shahani, who's a sixth grade language arts teacher, and you really make it a part of your curriculum here, don't you? Yes, we're focusing on empathy through most of the school year this year. I think in sixth grade is when kids start to understand a little bit more about themselves and they start to understand where they stand on some major issues and how they are going to approach life as they grow up. And so it's the best time to get them to practice understanding themselves as well as understanding others. I think it's a great moment to start teaching those soft skills, empathy, creativity, responsibility. It, those skills truly need to be taught explicitly. This might be the hardest question, but the most obvious then. How do you teach someone to be empathetic? The best way of doing that is to practice. You can pa practice through storytelling, because if you think about it, even at home, sometimes parents ask their kids, what did you do at school today? What did you learn? And they are trying to elicit a story from their child in order to understand their day and kind of get their kid. So storytelling is a great way to take that first step in understanding someone else's life and walking in their shoes. Maintaining communication, working in groups, teaching kids conflict management strategies are also other ways of teaching empathy. And I know that you guys do a lot of projects. Special chairs for fictional characters? Yes. What is that? Okay, so this is the first way that we introduce the, the practice of empathy with our students. For example, each student was given a character um, and the character had certain needs. For example, one student may have received a slip of paper that said Neil is an astronaut and he is traveling in space, he has a really bulky space suit, and he likes to drink his tang. Create a chair for him. So this was really great because the kids had to think about their user the whole time that they were planning and designing a chair. And then the design process is, is a, an iterative process where kids have to um, build something and then try it again, and if it doesn't work, add some details to make their models better. So the chair design project was great because it was a fun way to practice creating something with somebody else in mind. And one of the ways you're also teaching it is a new partnership you have with Otterbein Assisted Living Center. And I think that's a really cool thing that you have going, so tell me what you guys are going to be doing. Yes, we're really excited about this project. The kids are going to be meeting with the residents at the Otterbein Assisted Living Center and engaging in games and getting to know the residents, interviewing them, and essentially ending the year with putting on a reception where they tell the story of one of those residents who live there. I think it's really important to have that intergenerational discussion and have the residents at the Otterbein Assisted Living Center feel like their story is valued and it's being told. And these kids can learn a lot from just having a conversation with the people who live there. What is your hope maybe for these students once they leave these doors in making them become more empathetic? I'm hoping that they leave these doors and that they are able to completely disagree with someone's point of view, but empathize with them. And they're able to respect them and walk in that person, person's shoes and yet completely disagree with what they're saying in a respectful way. Because I think that's something that many adults have to work on as well. Well, thank you. Obviously, teaching empathy, one of the many things they do here at Columbus Academy, and do it very well. So thank you for sharing thank with you. me. Thank you. Well, there is still time to see the school up close and personal through their academy mornings. Parents can visit active classrooms, even talk with current students. On January the 24th, the focus is on grades pre-K through 5. And January 31st, they'll feature grades 6 through 12. RSVP at ColumbusAcademy.org or call 614-509-2220.